Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I did this holiday classic glam look. I promise, no more holiday looks. I'm done. Get into the New Year's Eve makeup look soon. Um, I'm going to have videos up Wednesday and Thursday. And if there's anything that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. All the products and brushes that I've used are also listed in the description bar below. And I think that is it. We're just going to jump right into it. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I will see you in the next video. Merry Christmas, everybody. So we're going to start off with MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. And then I'm going to be using the Sephora 57 Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush just to prime my eyes. We're going to be going in with a couple of eyeshadows today. So this just helps the blending process be a little bit easier. I am going in with Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream and I am just using that to set the base. I'm just patting it on and then going in windshield wiper motions. I'm going in with Makeup Geek Mocha and I am just lining my crease line with the Claire Smoky brush. I did have a look in mind, but it was not really going the way I wanted it to, so I decided to take that from inner corner to outer corner. Using the same brush, I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Corrupt and I'm just going to do a little wing. I'm going to be using the Stila 15 brush just to blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. So I'm going to be using my favorite Stila in the light palette and I am using Kitten. I'm going to put Kitten on my inner corner and then I am going to put Bubbly on the outer corner. Going back in with Mocha by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to take that from inner corner to outer corner, going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. That is how I like to blend, and I'm going to be blending majority of this video, just back and forth, back and forth until it looks seamless and that there are no harsh lines. Going back in with the In The Light palette, I'm just going to be spraying some Fix Plus on my brush and going back in with Kitten and Bubbly. Kitten again on the inner corner and Bubbly on the outer corner. I wanted more of a foiled metallic look and Fix Plus really helps bring that out. Going in with sandstone from the palette, I just wanted to give it more dimension and darken it up. It wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, so I'm going to be taking that from inner corner to outer corner, windshield wiper motions, blend, blend, blend. That is the key to every makeup look is just blend, 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 and blend, blend some more. Using Ebony from the same palette, I'm just going to be deepening it up even more in the outer corner. I just wanted to really give it some depth and dimension. Going in with a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean up the under eye area. You can tend to get some fallout with using dark colors, so we just want to clean that right up. Now to prime my face, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer, and I'm just going to push that and rub that into my face. I'm going to be concealing with my Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette, number one, and I'm going to be using the green shade just to cover up all the red blemishes and scarring that I have on my face. Now 
using the peachy color in the same palette, I'm just going to use that to cover up my dark circles and bags underneath my eyes. Going in with the Real Techniques makeup sponge, I'm going to be using that to blend everything in. I like to make sure that it's really, really damp before I actually use it. Going in with my absolutely favorite foundation, it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in 117 or 117, whichever you prefer to say. Using my Morphe M439 brush, I'm just going to push that into the skin. I don't want to buff it or move it around, I want full coverage, and with this foundation, you really get full coverage. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to be contouring with the Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette in number four. I'm going to be using the first color to contour with. I will contour my cheekbones, then I will do my forehead, the bridge of the nose, under my lip, and of course, I have to contour that chin. Nobody wants a double chin. Using my Real Techniques stippling brush, I'm just going to blend that in an upwards motion, at least on my cheekbones anyways. The forehead, you can blend down, you can blend back and forth. Underneath the chin, you can blend back and forth, but at least with the cheekbones, you always want to blend in an upwards motion. It helps lift the face, and you definitely want to lift the face rather than a droopy face. Using my Sephora concealer in light, I'm just going to be highlighting underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow. It just helps balance everything out and pulls everything together. Going in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm just going to blend that all out. Another reason why I like to make sure that it's really wet is that it helps soak up the excess product so you don't have cakey face and your concealer does not crease. Going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and the Sigma F86 just to set the rest of my face. Using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 251 and the brush is the Morphe M523, I'm just going to be contouring and bronzing up my face. And I'm going to do my brows off camera and voila, power of editing. Using the Morphe 9B palette and the Luxie 504 brush, I am just going to start at the center of my cheeks and kind of slowly blend my way back. Be very careful, these blushes are very pigmented. If you find it is too pigmented, you can take your foundation brush or a beauty blender and just lightly dab, which I am doing. It helps take away some of that pigment. I'm going in with the Maybelline Blackest Black Gel Eyeliner and I am using the Makeup Forever 172 Straight Brush. Going in with the Sigma E15 brush and a Mocha by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to push that into my lower lash line. 
I'm then using the Makeup Forever 218 Wavy Brush with some Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to use that to blend that out. Going to curl my lashes and use some Lash Accelerator by Rimmel. And then I'm just popping on some Ardell Demi Wispies. And of course I'm doing the waiting for your lash glue to get tacky dance because what else are you going to do while you wait? I decided to go in with the Morphe 9N blush palette just because that shadow had more of a golden glow to it. I'm using the Makeup Forever Camouflage Number no. 4 palette and the Makeup Forever 302 straight brush. I am going to set a base for my lips which will help the lipstick last all day long and it will make sure that the lip liner and the lipstick does not bleed, especially since it is red. That does tend to happen. Going in with the Makeup Forever 8C Lip Liner. This is red. I know it kind of looks fuchsia, but I promise you it is a red color. Then I am going over top of that with the Maybelline 645 Red Rival Lipstick. And I'm going to use the concealer just to clean up the lipstick and just make sure that again, you don't want anything to bleed or to go through and this does a really good job of cleaning everything up and making everything look really nice. And I'm just going to take the same mascara and just do a quick coat to put my lashes and the falsies together. I'm using the highlighter from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two, and I am using the Morphe M501 brush to highlight with. I then will be going in with Physicians Formula Translucent Pearl on top with the same brush. I'm going to be highlighting the top of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and above the arch of my eyebrows. And finishing off this makeup look with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray and I'm just going to fan off my face to help it dry a little bit faster. And that is the makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this video. Bye.